Well, now that we have run our uh, protein electrophoresis gel, let's see how we can transfer uh, the proteins to a membrane to do Western analysis. So let's start by unboxing the iBlot dry blotting system. Let's see what's in the box. We have a manual on top here. There we go. So we have the device. We have a power cord. This is a USB cable for uploading firmware. And we have a roller for removing air bubbles. So this is the iBlot device. I'm going to plug this in. Here's the lid. Now let's take a look at the transfer stacks. So you have a choice of either PVDF or nitrocellulose. Each box comes with uh, enough stacks for 10 transfers, and they actually come in two sizes. You can either get um, a mini size one, or you can get what I have here is the regular, and this is large enough to transfer two mini gels at the same time. So inside the box, you have a bottom stack, you have a top stack, you have sponge, and we also have a pack of filter papers. We're going to get the gel by breaking open the cassette. There we go. I cut the, uh, the wells off and um, the bottom edge of the gel. So using the iBlot system is very easy. You begin by um, unwrapping the bottom stack, remove the aluminum foil, and place it in the device like that. Now the membrane is already pre-assembled in the stack. Um, and again, you have a choice of PVDF or nitrocellulose. Then we take a pre-wet filter paper um, and take the gel that we had run earlier So I have the filter paper with the gel that I ran earlier, and I'm going to place that directly on the stack with the gel touching the membrane. Remove any air bubbles with the roller. We now get the top stack, and this time I'm not only going to remove the aluminum foil, I'm actually going to scoop out the stack from the tray and place it on top of the filter paper. Once again, you remove any air bubbles. Then take one of the sponges that comes in the kit and place the sponge in the lid. And simply close the lid. Right. There's a flip switch at the back that turns on the device. And you simply use the preset program in the instrument to run. Uh, just press start, and the red light turns green, and you're set. And in seven minutes, the device will beep, indicating that the transfer is done. So we've just completed transferring proteins using the iBlot. You can see the pre-stain standard on the membrane. And we can now move on to Western Processing using either the Benchpro 4100 Western Processing Station or the iBlot Western Detection Kit.